Okay, now this is going to be the 65 Volvo undercarriage. I did it yesterday, but I went too many minutes and YouTube said, too long, we do it. Uh, this here is the lower control arm bolt and bushings that were replaced. I have the bolts laying over there. I did the upper also. I did the uh, sway bar, anti-sway bar, whatever they call it. Steering rods are new. This is new. I think that's a stabilizer. Um, yeah, you can even still see the blue marks on the on that one there where the rubbers, they, they colored them blue for some reason. And there was uh, new brake uh, pads put in. Uh, some of the lines were replaced like up there. There's one with the yellow on it. You can see they're new Volvo lines and um, you could buy every line for the whole car. I painted the calipers. This is this brake in the front. Now we're going to move faster because I'm not going to run out of time like I did yesterday. I'm trying painting the muffler with the 3000 degree paint or whatever it is and it seems that it might work. It looks cool. I'm showing under here. This is the you can see where I made a bracket to hold up the new for the second time um, speedometer cable. And speedometer now works like a champ. And I'll get to the other side. There's a uh, no body rust here on the panel. Sometimes those panels rust and the jacking points like right here they uh, have problems but um, there's none on this and that's where I jack from and everything. Okay we're moving to the other side. Hang in there. I'm not going to run out of time again. It takes two hours to download and then it tells you that you went too too long. Okay, now we're on the driver's side. That's the, that big bar going across, that's for the emergency brake. Inside here is where your handle will be up there and then it goes across. The exhaust system is definitely good, there's no doubt about that, but I like the color. Uh, up there, that black spot, I left that on there. That's where the old speedometer cable touched, melted, and start making it bind inside because of the heat. There's the new dry shaft had that re rebalanced. That's why you see all these marks on it because you keep it what's called in phase. The way you take it off, you put it back on. I'm going to show you something that a lot of people on Volvo weren't sure of. See this hose coming out? Right there? Well, that hose wasn't coming out when I got the car. And I was wondering why there was rust down in this area down here. Well, that hose had pulled out or whatever and was draining the water right inside to the, uh, the fender, bottom of the fender panel. This comes out with, I believe it was three bolts, and uh, I took it out, put a new hose in there so it would come out and drain by the tire where it's supposed to drain, and uh, I re-undercoated inside, re-undercoated the panel, sanded it, and put it back in there, but that was for two reasons. You also can't get this chrome off here unless you take that panel off. And this is what that water drains. Strange setup, but inside the door, the water comes down, and you can see it going down there. Well, it goes into that hose. So that's just another thing that Volvo has. There's also a hose right there. You can, you can see this hose right there by my fingers. Same on the other side. It's from inside the cowl vent. It takes the water, drains it, all the way down to underneath the car. So they just found ways for the water not to set, but you got to keep track of the hoses. All right, I think I have covered the underneath, and I'm going to shut that off. There's no other thing to show. That's just the brakes there. Oh, the gas tank we should show down here.
Okay, there's our gas tank. And it is undercoated. I didn't undercoat it. I might have sprayed some on an empty spot or a scratch. But coming from British Columbia slash Wisconsin, undercoating is a staple. But also, it, it deadens sound. Okay. Oh. I was going to say, it better not be a nick. Piece of tar, piece of dirt. Okay. I'm signing off on the underneath. And I did want to show something on here, and this is where the seat belt connects. I looked on my interior photo and it didn't show right. This is where the seat belt connects. And it's on that big bar and it goes for either side and just pulls. And when you take it off, you lift the spring up and then it pops back down. Sometimes. <laughs> now, I have to squirt it. But, uh, that's where the seatbelt connected. And that is it, and it was a total of six, because I, I set it at ten. It was six minutes and some seconds, so this should download quite, quite rapidly. Okay, signing off for Volvo Undercarriage. If you want more pictures, anybody, let me know, or close-ups, or stills, and I could do that. All right, good night.